Now that we have your attention, let's begin. Today, we would like to show you how to correctly tension your Brooks saddle. The lever on the saddle is anchored to the metal frame by three front rivets and six rear rivets. The lever is then held taut by the tension pin and shackle. As time passes, the lever will undergo some natural stretching, which will cause the saddle tension to gradually reduce. First, make a visual inspection of your saddle to look for signs where the lever may have stretched, such as sagging lever or any perceivable slackness in the assembly. We can also try to press down on the lever at the rear end with the palm of our hand to see how far we can flex it. It is better to err on the side of caution, making an adjustment to the saddle tension, unless you are absolutely certain there has been no change to the saddle since the previous check. Working from the front of the saddle, use your tensioning spanner to make a quarter or half clockwise turn on the tension pin nut, 90 to 180 degrees. Watch the tension pin in the front hole of the nose. Be sure that it does not turn as you are turning the nut. This can sometimes happen on the very first adjustment. The lock needs to engage correctly against the inside of the nose piece. Now, you can enjoy your saddle. 